Okay, we're gonna be back at it today. Eight days ago, I was spraying for army worms and stem maggots, and I fashioned up a little sweep net. A couple days ago, I started seeing a couple more flies, and then yesterday, oh yeah, they're back. So I'm gonna be spraying Bathroid, 1.8 ounces to the acre, and it's gonna take me about five hours to get done, so we're just living our best spray life today. And I'll, um, I had to come up with a sweep net fast. I, it, army worms are pretty easy to check for, but these stem maggots are a whole new shebang. So um, I came up with a pillowcase and some fence wire, and it actually works pretty good. And I started seeing flies, like I said, a few days ago, and really had a nice batch of them yesterday. So I need to get this sprayed. I was just waiting for the dew to get up off the grass so I don't track the fields up so bad. We have about another two weeks before we cut, so trying to salvage what we can. All right, we just got pillowcase, fence wire, just twisted a couple strands up, fold them back, ergonomic handle. No, just kidding. Um, but just put a couple strands in the handle to make it kind of sturdy. It actually works pretty good. Okay, so that was six tanks all day probably five and a half hours total. Finally got it all sprayed. Oh, these stem maggots are something else. Bless anybody who is dealing with these things. This is my first year. We've had army worms several times. I knew to look for those. I knew stem maggots existed. I just never thought they were coming for me, but they're here now. And even as much as I like to spray, spraying every week, that's, that's a pain. You have to give your whole day dedicate all your time to taking care of this hay and um, so you can either kind of half tail it and have half tail hay or you can put in the time and get out there and make hay great again that's all that's all I can do how bad do you want it um, so one thing I did want to show with since I was having to hustle because if you got worms or stem maggots the whole time you're not in that field spraying something is eating your crop so we actually have um, a boomless nozzle and booms for the sprayer we normally spray boomless and then last winter we put the booms on it there's the boom assembly over there by the shop and it's just a matter of four bolts four bolts drop it and just valved in cut that uh, valve off cut that one back on hook the uh, hose back in there and you can spray booms um, the original way we had it set up was to be able to just flip the valves and go from booms to boomless but the boomless was not extended out far enough so it was actually spraying into the frame but easy enough just drop the booms and then that way I was able to get under the tree lines and up against the fence rows and not have to worry about the booms being upright and getting caught in something because I was just ready to roll and uh, it's worked out good so it's good to have sprayer options I never thought about that maybe that'll help somebody else out but signing off I got to get this sprayer cleaned up myself cleaned up and um Hopefully, we'll cut hay before we have to spray again and actually do something fun. So, everybody, take care. Mm -hmm.